New at 6, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed facing criticism in Washington for blocking a bill to change how the military handles sexual assaults. 12 News Politics Senator Ted DC went one on one with Senator Reed today to ask why he's stopping a vote and how he responds to his critics. Ted joins us now with the story. Jack Reed has generally tried to avoid controversy during his quarter century in the Senate, but on this issue, he's on the defensive. I ask unanimous consent. 15 times over the last month, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand has gone to the Senate floor to demand an immediate vote on her Military Justice Improvement Act. The bill would transfer authority over punishing sexual assault and other felonies from commanding officers to independent prosecutors. The Senate vote on the bill with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Madam President, uh, reserving my right to object. Each time, Gillibrand has been blocked, usually by Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed. He doesn't want her to go around the Armed Services Committee, where he's the chairman. The committee is a place where we will get the, the best views of people who have dedicated themselves in the Senate. There's several reasons why I disagree strongly with the chairman. Gillibrand argues committee leaders and Pentagon chiefs have stalled on the issue too long and points out 66 Democrats and Republicans have co-sponsored her bill. So that's a supermajority supporting it and one senator is able to get up and stop it. Is that fair? Well, uh, it is the rules of the Senate. Measures that have uh, strong support in the United States Senate don't sometimes turn out to be the best. I think uh, there were about 78 senators who supported the invasion of Iraq. Reid argues that by encompassing all felonies, Gillibrand's bill is too sweeping, but he insists reforms are coming to how the military punishes sex crimes. So when you have the Secretary of Defense says, I want it, and you have uh, presumably strong majorities in, in the House and Senate that want it, then it usually gets done. 10 of New England's 12 U.S. Senators have co-sponsored Gillibrand's bill. The only two holdouts are Reed and his fellow Rhode Islander, Sheldon Whitehouse. Ted Nisi, 12 News.